Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 58. I'm adding three or more single digit numbers and identifying the associative property of addition. So here, let's say that I have two pennies and then, I, and then one of my students gave me nine more pennies. So I have two plus nine. But then I found a penny in my desk, so I found one more penny. Then I have another student who came and gave me three more pennies. Then I had a student come and give me eight pennies. I found seven pennies under the couch. And then I got five more pennies from another student. Whew, how many pennies do I have now? Well, I've got a lot of numbers here to add up. Okay, so I can add up these numbers to figure out how much I have. Okay. So when I add up numbers, lots of numbers, I want to look for numbers that are sums of 10 because it's really easy to find a sum of 10. And it's kind of like trading, trading 10 pennies for a dime. So for example, nine plus one, I know equals 10. Okay. I know that two plus eight equals 10. And I can cross off the numbers as I use them. And then I know that three plus seven equals 10. So now instead of adding all those numbers together, all I have left is that I've got 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus five. So I'd have 10, 20, 30, 35. So I have a total of 35 pennies. And that was a lot easier than trying to count them all one at a time. Okay, so let's do this one. It's pretty similar to the first one. Let's see what we do. So we're finding numbers that add together to equal 10. Well, I know that one plus nine equals 10, two plus eight equals 10, three plus seven equals 10, four plus six equals 10, and five plus five equals 10. So now I can just count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So all of those numbers added together equals 50. Now sometimes an addition problem is written in a column, kind of like this. Can you see any tens? Well, seven plus three equals 10, and two plus eight equals 10. So now I have 10, plus 10, and then I still have to add six and one. So I have 10, 20, and then I have 26, 27. So I have a total of 27 cents, or just 27. Okay, let's practice another one. Here I have six plus four plus five plus five. So we find our tens first. Six plus four equals 10, and five plus five equals 10. So now I can just add together 10 plus 10, which I know equals 20. Hey, let's do one more. So we have nine plus one plus two plus eight plus three plus seven. Well, one plus nine equals 10, two plus eight equals 10, and three plus seven equals 10. So my answer is going to be 10, 20, 30. All right. Let's actually do these ones to practice um, having them in a column. So six plus four equals 10, and eight plus two equals 10. So now I have 10, 20 plus nine is 29. Okay. On this other one, we have nine plus one equals 10. And then I could either just add these numbers to 10, or four plus four is eight plus two, is 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20. So a couple ways we can add this up. It's really easy to first find sums of 10. And that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.